Here is our homepage. You can see the uh, approval uh, web part that I uh, told you about. Um, right now I have no approvals waiting my attention, but if I did it would tell me that I have three expense reports, two of this, two of that, whatever the case may be, and I could click and go to that application uh, very easily. Um, here's the, the global navigation that we have for people. Uh, we have the ability to uh, get to probably close to 100 different things uh, within here. Uh, Weston uh, has client business teams, operational and service lines, kind of this client we focus, service lines we, we, we sell, and uh, operations, and kind of matrix, and, and very easily to get to that stuff within the organization. The admin functions within our group, we kind of rebrand re it and called it support services. Um, so it's kind of not necessarily a department name, but a function. Hey, I'm looking for legal help, payroll help, um, security questions. I can quickly get to those things. Sorry, excuse me, Bob. What uh, process did you go through to work out your top-level navigation structure? Yeah, that, no, that was a very good point. We actually, we actually did sort of a card sorting exercise that people probably have heard. We kind of laid out what are all the different. First, we came up with obviously using the old portal as a guide. What are the various key things that the company needs to do and, and organized around to help them get 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 our jobs done? We laid out all those different sections, and then we grouped them into categories. And we kind of, you know, went back and forth, and got, and that's where the portal advisory group and the interaction with the other users really came out. We just kept playing different versions after version until we settled on this structure. So you can see this is, the navigation is a little lighter blue here and darker over here. That's done on purpose because uh, mm -hmm. this is sort of the organization structure, and then these are the various other things that can help you get your job done. And we'll, we'll, we'll modify this every once in a while, we'll add something new, um, but for the most part it was about 85% uh, since we went live. Uh, we told you I was responsible for all our inter internal business applications, of which uh, the portal is one of them, but we build a lot of other internal apps. We kind of label them track at the end of it, that's sort of our branding. So you can see we have an expense track system, a hiring system, a lesson track system. Uh, a lot of different systems we have, and the portal helps people get to those tools um, a lot faster. And a lot of the information in these various applications, we actually render back through the portal in various web parts, like in our uh, Client360, our CRM system, on our, say, uh, one of our client business team sites, we will actually show the opportunity listing and key contacts um, directly in the portal that feed from the back-end system. So we kind of bring actionable information into the portal to help people get their get their job done. And various things like a lot of companies have, operating practices, work charts, things like that, ethics program, we're very big on ethics. All those quickly uh, have the ability to get there. Um, I'll talk about communities a little bit separately. Um, we have focus growth target areas. Um, I need to, so for instance, if someone needs to quickly order business cards, they can go to a page, they can see examples of what they might want to do, they can click and order a business card. We use, um, we're starting to standardize on InfoPath, part of the Microsoft Suite, to be able to um, use those as forms. It's kind of like a hybrid of using Word and Excel all together. It's a great ability to create forms and workflow around that. Um, so then they create nice looking, looking forms. Um, so we're doing a lot more uh, of that. Excuse me, Bob, how big is your team? My, myself, who's probably maybe 25% related to the portal, my job. We have uh, two full-time people in the portal. Uh, we have uh, uh, two other part-time people. And one of the part-time people specializes in InfoPad. Mm -hmm. And they're the ones that, that create any InfoPad. We probably have about a dozen InfoPad forms throughout the portal. And uh, they'll, that, that part-time person will focus on that area. And uh, one of the things we do on the portal, anytime you click on the logo, it'll take you back to the home page. Um, you can see the company corner has changed since that screenshot um, there, so people can get to the things. I just showed about the employee spotlight, which like Brian's being highlighted here. Um, you can see the recently active over here on the left. Um, Matt posted something about an hour ago, 
Uh, so this changed um, an hour ago. And then all our news and so forth, all here on the, on the page. People have the ability to search. We have what we call uh, search scopes. So if people want to target a company bio, a proposal, marketing material, they have the ability to filter that search. I'm just going to search for myself here. Um, so if I go in here and go people search, what's great about it is you'll get uh, a listing of, of people that, that match that. And I focused on people, but it could have been anything. It could have been a document I wrote and so forth. Um, you actually see uh, my wife here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you actually see uh, uh, some other people that actually have me referenced in their profile. And what's really nice about this is you then can, uh, if they're not already a colleague of yours, you have the ability to, to see them as a colleague. Um, but you can always link to their profile. The other nice thing about the new SharePoint is they have refiners. So when you get a search result list back, based on whatever that search result list is, they'll give you refiners so you can uh, refine uh, those, uh, those quite a bit. We also tell people that once in a while you should search for yourself because what happens is when you search for yourself and get your record back, you kind of can be given guidance on how many times people try to look for you and give you help on trying to help you, uh, you know, get your, uh, you know, get your profile up to date. And when you click on a person's name, we also have instant messaging uh, over here. Uh, so that if someone was online, you could connect with them through instant messaging. Um, and then here's here's my profile page here. So I have the ability, you can see I sent something a few hours ago, and there's some correspondence on my activity stream. Uh, you know, my about me here is here. More information about me is listed here. 